what's the best software to remove background noise when you're live streaming or video conferencing? In this video, we're going to compare RTX Voice from NVIDIA, RN Noise in OBS Studio, and the built-in noise suppression in Zoom. And we'll see how they handle this fan noise. There are three of these loud dehumidifiers in my apartment drying my floor after a water leak. So when life gives you noise pollution, make noise suppression testing lemonade. You can use RTX Voice if you have a GeForce RTX card or a GeForce GTX card. Check out the link in the description below for the free download and for additional resources. This is an audio sample of the Samsung Q2U with massive background noise and no noise suppression whatsoever. Microphone check 1212, microphone check 12. This is a typing uh, sample with massive noise and massive typos. Now let's do a typing sample while I'm being quiet. This is an audio sample of the Samsung Q2U with massive background noise using the RN noise noise suppression filter in OBS Studio. Microphone check 1212, microphone check 12. This is a typing test using the RN uh, noise filter in OBS with massive background noise noise and uh, also typos listen typing with this massive background noise is so stressful i couldn't even get through that sample but at least you'll be able to tell if the background noise suppression in obs is working this next typing test is going to be me typing while i'm being quiet This is an audio sample of the Samsung Q2U with massive background noise using RTX voice. I have the slider at approximately one third of the way. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. This is a typing test with RTX voice at one third of the bar. Typing test, one, two. And now let's do a typing test while I'm being quiet. This is an audio sample of the Samsung Q2U with a massive background noise using RTX voice. I have the slider turned up to approximately two thirds of the bar. Microphone check one, two, one, two. Microphone check one, two. This is a typing test for um, RTX voice at approximately two thirds of the bar. Typing test, one, two, typing test. And now we're going to do that same typing test with RTX voice as two thirds while I'm being quiet. And now let's go back through these samples in the reverse order with a shorter sample. This is an audio test with RTX voice at approximately two thirds of the bar. This is an audio sample of the RTX voice with approximately one third of the bar. This is an audio sample using RN noise in OBS Studio. This is an audio sample with no noise suppression recorded in OBS Studio. Hit the like button if you're getting value. This is an audio sample recorded with Zoom where original sound has been turned on, meaning that there is no noise suppression at the moment. Microphone check 1212, microphone check 12. This is an audio sample recorded in Zoom with noise suppression at low. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two.
This is an audio sample recorded with Zoom with medium noise suppression. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. This is an audio sample recorded in Zoom with high noise suppression. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. This is an audio sample recorded with Zoom with noise suppression set to automatic. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. What do you think? Which of these noise suppression technologies do you think works the best? Let me know in the comments below the video. Here are my observations. I've been living with this background noise for four days now and I am losing my mind. It becomes increasingly difficult to concentrate and it causes stress as well. I actually gave up and put in some earplugs and these wax earplugs they actually work really well to cancel this noise. Another thing that works is this background noise removal through software. I think RTX Voice, RN Noise, and the noise suppression in Zoom, they all work in getting rid of this massive background noise from my dehumidifiers. One benefit of Zoom and RTX Voice is that you can manually set the level of noise suppression that you want to use. In Zoom, the automatic setting also works really well. In RN Noise, there are no settings for the level of suppression. One drawback of RTX Voice is that there is a few milliseconds delay in processing the audio. As you can see in the audio meters, when I have all of them active and I'm speaking at the same time. That's something to consider if you want to have your video and your audio perfectly synced. But RTX Voice is also the most flexible solution. Because it appears as a virtual microphone on your system, you can use it in any app that uses a microphone. If you have a GeForce RTX or GeForce GTX card, check it out with the free download in the description below the video. Another aspect of this test is that I'm using a dynamic microphone. This is the Samsung Q2U. You can check out my full review with the link above or find it in the description. I've connected it via USB to my machine. It also has an XLR connection if you want to use it with a mixing desk or a professional audio recorder. But because it is a dynamic microphone, it picks up the sound mostly from directly in front of it. Other types of microphones will have different pickup patterns. For example, a lavalier microphone will pick up sound from all around it. If you want to learn how we can remove noise with these tools when using a lavalier microphone, then click or tap the screen right here. That's my full video using the Boya BYM1 lavalier mic, and I'm testing it with RTX Voice, RN Noise, and Zoom. For more communication tips every Thursday, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.